So I just found out the other day, and I think I'm the last person in the entire country to find this out, that the garden snails that we have in our gardens are not native uh, snails. Lou, she certainly is the last. <laughs> I thought they, everybody knew that. Well, it's been the world's best kept secret. I didn't know. And thank you to our friend Linda who told me this. <laughs> and goodness knows what else there is out there that I don't know about. So these are the things that I've learned about the garden snails that you have in our garden or and also about our native snails. Our any snail that you find in our garden, in your own garden, is very, very unlikely to be a native snail. They don't like the kind of gardens that we've created at all. You might might find one or two, but invariably they're going to apparently be garden snails. The garden snails like, you know, veggies and many of the introduced plants that we have. They love strawberries. Do they? Yeah, well, they, yes. they love just about everything, don't they? Yes, they Whereas do. native snails are more inclined to like going through leaf litter and composting things and that kind of stuff. And apparently some native snails are, um, oh, what's carnivorous and will actually eat garden snails. Ooh. Yeah, I read I that. I just had a bad thought. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> So, from now on, I'm going to be even more anti-garden snail than I perhaps would have been. So, uh, some things that you can do to discourage garden snails in your garden. Lou's making faces. She's got a bit, little bit nervous at this I point. I am a bit nervous. <laughs> you can put out a, a series of pots into your garden that are upturned with just a little opening and during the night or as morning approaches, the snails will make their way into the pots and you'll be able to collect them there and make them more easily being dis- to be disposed, make them easier to dispose of. How will you dispose of them? I reckon I would put them in a bucket of water. Drown them? Yeah. Right. You could squish them. I'm willing to do that now that I've learnt that I they're not them. native snails. I squish them okay. immediately, so fast that fast. they never know. Right. They never know when they were living or when they were dead. Okay, we'll do it that way. That, that, yeah, I like, I like that way myself. I know someone who cuts them up. Oh. Yes. Cuts them up. Yeah, mm-hmm. actually with pair of scissors. It's a disgusting thing to do. Oh. But mm. I don't Doesn't know why I'm being me. so moralistic. <laughs> <laughs> I just think you know. one or two other facts that I learned about introduced snails versus native snails. Uh, the introduced garden snails have four antennae, and native snails have two antennae. And you probably knew this, but I never did. That their eyes are on the end of the antennae, which I guess if you ever looked in any children's book, you would know that. But it's never really sort of struck me, and. Snails can invert their antennae with the eyes on the end like you would pull a rubber glove off off and pull it inside out so that their eyes are protected within that antenna. They also, I was wondering, when they're little, they're just tiny weeny snails, do they shed their uh, shell or does their shell grow? How on earth does this happen? And do you know the answer to that? No. Have you ever thought about it? Yeah, no. (laughs) (laughs) What all snails do, well, uh, land snails do, is they lay down a kind of calciferous substance at the leading edge of their shell so that as they get older... The shell grows with them just by the outside leading edge always being increased. So as you look at the shell of the snail kind of from the side, the inner portion of the coil is its early shell when it was ah. little and it's just built up wow, I around didn't, and I around didn't know and around. That. Right. I really love it if That's I could so tell clever. Lou something because she knows so much. Oh, I don't yes. know much. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yes. I didn't so know that, but it makes perfect sense. 
So does that mean that when you've got a big snail, he's old? He's an old bloke, yeah, which probably means I think they get to one uh, – the average age for a garden snail is about one year, I think. Is that all? Yeah, yeah, and less in your garden and mine in future. And snails that have got shells that have got kind of a slight point on them, if you put them sideways and the the pointy bit kind of comes up toward you, then the coil will invariably be going clockwise. Oh, is this like the bathroom plug thing? <laughs> Yeah, maybe in the I don't know. We'll have to go north and <laughs> I'm just wondering see. in the north yeah, in the northern hemisphere, do you think do it's the other way round? We'll have to do more reading on that. <laughs> <laughs> now Lou doesn't like me talking about this since she's gone to the subject that she thinks no one else wants her to talk about. And that is snail bait for snails. I personally discourage the use of snail bait. There are some products that are allegedly safe for snails, but there is a great deal of material that indicates that they're not safe. So I personally am not going to take the risk. The point being that other animals will eat dead snails and they will not do well from a poisoned snail. So that's just my personal opinion. Mm. Uh, But until... There is no longer material around saying even safe snail baits are unsafe. I'm not going to use snail baits. Well, the problem, what we're really worried about more than anything is the blue tongues, isn't it? Yes, yeah. But also, like, birds eat snails. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. And apparently some native snails eat garden snails, so, Mm. yeah. Yeah, it's a bit of a conundrum at the moment. Mm. I mean, like... I, I thought it was fine and then I was I, I, I was told by someone who I really trust that it wasn't fine mm. and I've since heard it definitely isn't fine mm. so, so now just, I'm leaning that way. It seems to us that it's just a risk that we are not willing to take. No, that's right. 